Hey, what's up? It's Schnell, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Daily Demo of the Day. Thanks to Shoot You in the Face, aka VP. Now, I've gone over this demo before, but it was in a compilation. And that was Skinless, Gut Pumping Hits, The Demos, Corpse Gristle and Burning Dogma. If you're a fan of Skinless, this is essential. The CD version has uh, some real sick stuff from... Uh, I forget what compilation it is, but it's got some extra songs that are super gnarly. But the daily demo of the day is 1995's Swollen Heaps by Skinless. 1995, Stinky Dung Records, Hudson Falls, New York. Even get the phone number. And this is also a Big Knob production. And you have Side Poop and Side Turd, keeping it very mature. But this is some straight up awesome New York death metal. And if you're a fan of Skinless, I don't have the original cover, but these things happen, but if you're a fan of Skinless, like, for real, it's definitely probably their best material. Like, as much as I love, like, progression towards evil, it's, you know, like, for a demo, it's just, you know, just a lot sicker, but I do love the first record to death. But, here we go. Yes. But the reissue, it might still be available on CD. And it's hot as fuck already. It's like 90 degrees. There's the original art for Swollen Heaps. So sick. Like, I, I love this demo. And the compilations, just that sick. All oh, shit. This part is just crushing. Anything to do the. But I love Skinless, especially that early stuff, all killer, no filler, and especially with the Swollen Heaps demo, it's like, you, I understand why Skinless was one of the biggest death metal bands for a little time, like, and you might be like, what are you talking about? Like, I remember, go check out the old Skinless DVD. Skinless was on their way to really, like, legit being up there with Cannibal Corpse. And then that From Sacrifice to Survival record came out. What the hell, guys? Ugh. And the guy that did, I forget the vocalist's name, but uh, he's in Origin now, along with uh, John, the last I checked. John was doing drums for Skinless for a minute. But uh, when I played with Skinless, he was on vocals. It wasn't uh, Sh um, Sherwood. Is it Sherwood? I'm sorry. One sec. I always forget if it's Sherwood or Sher... For, I, I'm pretty sure it's Sherwood. Yeah, Sherwood Weber. I for some reason I thought it was something else. I'm sorry. But yeah, sick, sick guy. But it wasn't him on vocals. Uh during this time period they had the vocalist that 
he might still be an origin, but I know at least for a while he definitely was an origin. And so was Skinless's drummer, uh, John, at the time. But uh, that was a good time, that show. Like, got to meet Will Romer and shit. Like, it was sick. That was back in 2006, summer 2006. Uh, we played a New York uh, death metal fundraiser. Uh, and, like, Will had just gotten out of... Uh, you know, some legal trouble internationally, and, uh, you know, honestly, Mortician has never been the same since this incident, because, like, they had just recorded and, like, released, um, reanimated Dead Flesh, and then they did, like, this European tour, and some stuff happened, you know, allegedly, you can look it up. Like, just look up Will Romer, Europe, Arrest, and you'll find out the details and stuff, because it's kind of crazy, and I just remember, like, legitimately being, like, upset, because, like, you know, I was like, dude, like, you know, we're never gonna play with Mortician, like, that was, like, our, like, our goal, like, we had, like, already played with, like, Napalm Death and, like, these legends and stuff, but, like, we wanted to play with mortician but you know it was still just cool to meet will because like him and roger wouldn't play another show together for a very 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 long time after that like definitely over 10 years if i remember correctly but you know whoever started that i listened I make memes while listening to Mortician. Like, first off, I get that it's a joke, but you somehow trolled in the best way possible the death metal community to getting Mortician to headline Maryland Death Fest. Which, like, again, that's... I still can't believe that that happened. Like... And supposedly, this is the last Maryland Death Fest? Dude, I hope not. I can't find my, uh... I have a pass from 2020, but I, I have no idea where it is. Like, it's in my email somewhere. I've been, like, looking for, like, a month now. So I, I might hit up Ryan, and I, I don't know who even is in charge of MDF. But, like, I just want to make sure my ticket's still good. Because, like, I, I do want to go at least for one day. I, one, I, I need to pick what day it is. But either one or two days. Because I can't do the full, like, with my injury, I can't be on. Like, that. it's just too long. And I don't know what Maryland's, you know, rules are with, like, you know, smoking and stuff. And... I want to be able to take my medication if I have to, but I know if I'm at a festival, they'll be like, oh, you're just trying to smoke. Like, no, I'm in extreme pain right now, and, you know, there's no re-entry or something. That, that's what happened at the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. Like, I snuck my shit in, and they were like, oh, like, no re-entry. I'm like, Okay, like, so I just smoked right in front of the security guard, and they didn't say anything, so I was like, alright, whatever. <laughs> like, you guys are making a big deal out of it in the fucking line, because, like, I, I smelled, like, a weed forest. And, like, the security guard, like, legit was like, uh, blah, 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 you know, and I had, like, my neck brace on, and, like, he's like, you're not hiding anything in there, are you? I'm like, for real? Like, are you gonna ask me to take my fucking neck brace off? Like, don't be a dick. Like, that's a dick move, but it is, that is a good hiding spot. But th that's a dick move. Like, it was, it was like the hospital one at the time. Like, you know, the plastic gnarly one that I was wearing for a while. So, I, it was just kind of weird. Because it's like, dude, really? Like, who, who the fuck cares? Like, I don't drink. And, like, I'm going to a metal and beer festival. So, like, half of it is just meaningless. 
Like, I just want to see the bands live. And then here's the thing about the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. The lineups are insane. The crowd sucks. I'm sorry, but they do. By the time the third band's playing, half the crowd doesn't give a shit. They're so drunk. It, it, it just, like, you know, and it's annoying. Because, like, I remember distinctly being told there's handicapped seating and whatnot. Don't worry about it. Like, you're good. You're covered. I get there, and, like, I go to the handicap seating, and there's people sitting there, and I go to the security guard, and I'm like, hey, um, I talked to Albert, and he said, you know, you guys have handicap seating, and he was like, oh, yeah, it's a first come, first serve, and I was like, but they don't, you know, they're fine, they, they were able-bodied, regular people, like, it was like a there's like a guy and his like girlfriend, and like a kind of overweight gentleman, but uh they, that that was pretty much it, and he was like oh well it's first come first serve I was like dude and like I'm I had you know this giant fucking thing on and I'm like yo like, and he's like I don't know what to tell you man and it's just like I I always thought that was like a big thing like a lot of venues in philly like if you were like in a wheelchair like first unitarian there's a back way in it's like where we used to unload uh records like when we would do the relapse table or i would work with uh john and uh help him set up before a show because they used to have like a distro at all our five shows and I would help John carry, uh, like, the CDs and records downstairs. And normally, we'd get in the show for free, uh, just for helping and stuff. Or, you know, you'd get to the show early if it was, like, sold out. And you would just help the band load in and stuff. And you'd end up on a guest list. It was pretty sick. But, like, one of the things I like about New York death metal so much is its diversity. Because... To me, Mortician sound nothing like, you know, skinless. But still, technically, skinless come from, like, the upstate New York area, like, around where, like, Cannibal Corpse is from. Can Cannibal Corpse is Buffalo, and I think skinless is Albany. Like, uh, Hudson Falls, New York, I'm pretty sure... But later, later on, I'm, I'm like positive it was Albany, New York. But skinless, swollen heaps, like this 1995 demo, if you're a fan of nasty, brutal, heavy death metal, you can't go wrong with skinless, swollen heaps. Crispy kids, crispy kids, contaminated, merry melody, tug of war intestines, and pool of stool. Hell yeah. Throw on side poop and yeah, enjoy. Or maybe you have the Gut Pumping Hits demo collection. Just as good. Like, for real. Absolutely just as good. Skinless, swollen, heap demo. Daily demo of the day. Thank you again to shoot you in the face, and thank you for watching. You fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.